What's up YouTube? How are you guys doing? It's your boy Ice bringing you guys another YouTube video. So today this is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, we're actually here in Fortnite. Um, I've been playing this quite a bit recently. Um, trying to get back into the swing of things. You know, I'm really enjoying the game. I'm still going to be bringing Minecraft content every now and again, but primarily we will be focusing more Fortnite, doing cash cups, as well as some tournaments here and there, um, as I can get into them. Um, but anyways, I wanted to bring you guys this video kind of based on... Um, Pro training routines. So I've been trying to get a lot better with Fortnite so I can play in a lot more pro events and whatnot. Um, and obviously that that doesn't that takes time. You know, it's not something that comes overnight. You know, you have to grind just like all the other pros, play for hours on end like all the other pros, um, as well as develop your own training routine to make sure that you're doing better um, and to help you get better. So that's kind of what this video is here for today. This is going to be a video that kind of covers everything from. Um, what I do to get ready when I practice for about five or six hours a day, um, you guys can cut this down to to about three hours, maybe, uh, maybe even four. So, I know a lot of people get off school. You know, they want to play video games. Um, you maybe your parents aren't about homework, but with that being said, most people would probably be home about four o'clock. Um, just kind of standard time there. Even if you work a job, um, you can still try to work it in because I work a part time job as well. Um, and I managed to fit in Fortnite as well at most of the, most of the days of the week. So, but anyways, let's dive right into this. So, obviously, to be a pro, you need to train like a pro. So, how exactly do pros train? It, they do repetition, which builds muscle memory, and they do aim training. So, primary classes of repetition would be edit galleries, like this one by Percy. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll put the uh, map code in the description of this video as well if you guys want to check that out. Um, this is what I use every single day when I get on Fortnite. So this is the first thing that I do after I aim train. So every morning I wake up at about 8 a.m. I get up, I get breakfast, and then I work on some things around the house, you know, to stay productive, make myself feel good for the rest of the day, you know, go out for a run before I uh, get on Fortnite. But, um... Yeah, so about every day at about 9, 30, 10 o'clock, um, I get on Fortnite, and this is the first map after I aim train for about half hour that I come to. I always come to this map, and the reason for this is just because it's, it's an edit gallery. You know, there's a ton of stuff for me to practice edits on. Um, I'm never not ready to play a game after playing this match. Um, this map has variety. It's got a progression system that's really nice, so you have just your simple wall edits. So you can also like I know that there's um awkward edits right here, uh, but primarily you're just trying to do these fast and make sure that you're understanding. Make sure that you're getting the rhythm. You know you just want to find a rhythm. Once you get that rhythm down just do it about three or four times so once you go through the entire edit section over here go through all the ramp edits go through those and then repeat that process about three times that's typically what I do um, we'll go over some of these ones over here as well because these are double cone edits these are the most important ones in my opinion because you're using these consistently in build fights you're always using um, cone floor edits typically um, walls are really important as well as ramps so you don't want to skip out on any of those um, you're never really doing it in this fashion, but um, like I said, cone, cone floor edits are the best because you're consistently using them in fights. And the faster you can do them, the better. I don't know why that didn't edit, but hey. Like I said, the faster you can do it, if you can do it without any flaws, that's when you know that you can move on to the next section. Or if you... So what I do after my first run through is if I don't complete a section almost flawless, then I go back to it. Um, but if I complete a section completely flawless, then I don't come back to it a second time. So if I do walls really, really well, and I don't mess up on a single wall, even in the awkward edits, then I don't go back to that. Um, same thing with the ramps over there, uh, and pretty much everything else on the course. So with this, um, this is all, again, self-explanatory, so if you're going uphill, and then you have your um, ramp stair edits right there. So those are very good to use because, like I said, you're using those a lot in build fights. Hold on, let me 
I gotta find the groove. So you, all you have to do is just find the groove. If you if you get yourself into a groove while you're editing, you're gonna be able to just go for miles. You know, I can do this entire course pretty much flawless once I get into the groove. Um, so I spend about, on average, about 30 to 45 minutes in an edit course, um, and then after that I do about half hour of just straight up free building. Um, so I just kind of go on, I get kind of comfortable, I throw some 90s, I throw up a high ground, there's a wall right here so I can't build, but I throw up high ground run takes, um, I do anything I can't, three foot cones, you know, then I go into tunneling and whatnot. Uh, I go into high ground retakes after that, and then I do tunneling um, after that, and then I'll hop into, depending on the day, if there's a tournament that day, then I'll do um, Zone Wars as well as Bach Fights. Um, typically, if it's a duo tournament, I play with my duo buddy when I do Zone Wars Bach Fights, um, and I just box fight my duo partner. Um, it all depends on the day, but if it's a tournament day, I typically do Zone Wars. Um, other than that, I just go straight into arenas after that, and then I do some VOD reviews. Um, every single night before I go to bed I actually watch um, some pro VOD reviews as well by Monster T-Face. I don't know if you guys have seen him but he's he does a really good job of VOD reviewing. Um, he kind of explains a lot. Um, in my opinion one of the best players that you can possibly watch to learn how to play the game is Clix. Um, especially if you want to get better at box fighting. Clix is just a god at box fighting. Um, so if you guys want to learn how to get better definitely check out some Clix VOD reviews because he's an incredible box fighter. Um, typically after this, um, once I do these, like I said, I hop into some arena solos for a little bit. Um, if I'm not feeling confident enough in arena solos, I just go play some regular solos. Um, I work on W keying people, um, as well as just my overall aim, um, and editing and building fight and build fights as well. Um, turtling is a key, key factor to playing Fortnite. Um, You'll, you'll most likely, especially in, um, especially in, like, comp, you will be consistently boxing up everywhere. Um, same with tunneling. Tunneling's, um, something I'm actually working on now, so, uh, as well as some box fighting. So, so some of the things I'm kind of learning with box fighting is, um, ramp boxing. Uh, so you like run up and then you place a ramp outside and then you would jump and then you box yourself in. Um, this allows you to do quite a bit of things. Um, you can move up a level if you're so say like end game zone if your lane if your zone if your layer right is too congested you could move up um, just by doing this um, and then like I said you can kind of just repeat this process over and over until you're up on to a layer that you want to be on you know. Um, Obviously, you want to try to branch out, but this this isn't the video to do that. But like I said, box fighting, as you can see, is very crucial in Fortnite. Um, so this is definitely one thing that you definitely need to work on, um, 100%. I started working on it, and my games got a, lo a lot better for me once I started to learn how to box fight. Um, don't worry too much about W King. If you're getting W keyed on, um, some some of the things for um, if you're getting W keyed on, um, what you can do is so say you're in like a box, you know. I'm just trying to go over some like tips and stuff um, and how you can practice this stuff. So basically, say you're sitting in like a box, you know, act, you can act like someone's building onto you. I know it's not like the real thing. But typically what I do when I'm getting built on, I drop under my ramp, and then if they're trying to break into my box, I hold this. And then as soon as, if they take the cone, I edit out to the side. I do a box jump, take high ground, and then go for a pump. Um, that That is if they're still there. Um, sometimes if you have a really good player um, that's trying to push your box, then it's not going to work. Um, so yeah, so I go into box fighting, tunneling after that, after the at a map and the um, free builds, um, and I just try to work on those, especially if I'm doing really bad. So kind of what I do when I play my arena solos, and I'm kind of watching to where to see where I'm lacking. If I'm lacking in, say, like my 90s one day, you know, I'll go into 
creative and I'll just start cranking out 90s, you know? I'm lacking on them today, apparently. But yeah, I'll just start cranking out 90s. You know, I'm not the world's best player either, you know? I'm not like, um... Booga, you know, clicks good. You know, I'm not, I'm not like th those guys good. Um, Mr. Savage, you know, Benji Vichy. I'm not good, as good as them, but I try to employ just simple tactics, you know, that I think would help me, that I can visually see myself improving by doing. So if I'm having a bad time, so actually I'll show you guys an example of this, right? So practice makes perfect, right? So when I first did this, th this um, side jump, where you do the double edit, I couldn't do this to save my life, you know? So it would take me literally ages. I'd continuously fall off. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. You know, um, I was getting myself really down. You know, I, I just couldn't do it. But now I can do it relatively smooth, and I can do it relatively fast. You know, and th that was literally only. It took me maybe. Maybe it took me like a day, not even, to learn that, and, and to get it down to where I'm doing it literally every time. Um, like I said, it, it, it practice makes perfect, you know. If you're struggling in a, in a situation and you want to get better at it, so say, like, you're struggling at endgame zones, go play Zone Wars, you know, just consistently play Zone Wars for a couple of hours. Um, if you have a bad part, if you have, like, a weak spot in your gameplay, then your entire gameplay is going to be weak. You know, if your aim's weak, go Kovax more, you know. Like, that's what I'm doing. You know, I Kovax for literally an hour and a half to two hours a day <clears throat> if my aim is bad. Just to try to get my aim better, you know? Because, like I said, if I want to be one of the best players, then I have to train, like, the best. You know, if you look at... If you watch, like, people like Booga, Clicks Play, <clears throat> they didn't just get there overnight, you know? They spent hours upon hours grinding out, you know, getting themselves better, getting themselves to a point where they're that good. Now, one thing that doing edit courses and that stuff doesn't get you is game knowledge, but that's where pro VOD reviews go. You know, if you watch pro VOD reviews, even your own VOD reviews, there's a lot of things, if you watch your VOD reviews, that you can easily figure out what you need to do better, and then you can apply that into your Linux games. Um, one of the things that I consistently do is I write down on, like, post-it notes what I need to fix, you know. And then as I get better at them, I cross them off of my list, you know, and then I don't have to do them. Um, another really common thing that I see in a lot of, um, I mean, any player realistically is being nervous, you know. Um, this is actually easily fixable because I used to be nervous as well. Um, if you guys watch my streams when I first started playing comp again, um, I was getting really nervous. My hands were shaking a lot. Um, primarily because I wasn't used to, you know, I wasn't used to being in the zones. Like, I wasn't used to facing 1v1s, you know, because I hadn't played Fortnite in, like, five months. But, oh yeah, and, and by the way, I've only been practicing for about a week now. I've only been back on Fortnite for about a week and a half. Um, and I'm already doing really, really good. Um, like I said, I've just been hardcore drilling myself to make sure that I am becoming the best player that I can be. Um, every single game, I don't just go in and lazily play. I go in and I look for um, what I can do better. Um, I got the storm glitch in this, by the way. But I look to see what I can do better, what I can improve in my gameplay. Um, anything that I can do that will help is what I is what I work on, um, primarily. But with that being said, I mean, like, how how you want to play is 100% deemed by you. Um, there's nothing that you can't do in this game. You know, you see all these other pro players that are like Mr. Savage that is just a god at just W King people. You know, he got that way how? By practicing. If you're bad at building one by ones, practice it. If you're bad at doing tunnels, practice it. You know? Like like I can't even do it, you know? I mean I can, but um at least you just have to practice. Practice makes perfect. If you ha or have a weak spot in something, practice, you know? Um, it's just the big training schedule for pros. You know, you just have to have a training schedule. Um, how, how you, if you have a training schedule, you're going to be a lot more calm and collected. You're going to know what you need to do when and where. 
and you'll actually have a plan rather than going in and being like, oh, what do I need to do, you know? Having a plan helps you get better a lot quicker because you're not consistently like, oh, maybe I should do this, maybe I should do that, you know? You're like, I know I need to do this, I know I need to do that. This will help me, that will help me, you know? Um, having that plan will help you tremendously. Knowing what you need to work on, writing it down when you see it in a game. Like, say, if you make a bad play or whatever, um, and you're like, well, how, how I could have done that better, you know? that That's help, that's fixing, you know? that, that That's telling yourself, I could have done that better. You're, you know for a fact that you could do that better, you know? And then making mental notes like that, even writing it down on a post-it note, that's exactly what I do to get better. You know, I write down what I'm doing wrong, um, so that way I can get better with certain things. Um, and that way I'm not wasting my time just lazily running around matches, you know, not fixing what's going on. Because that's not how you become the best. You have to train like the best to become the best, you know. If you want to train like a pro, you have to correct everything that you're doing um, and just try to drill yourself as hard as you can. Um, so let's get back to the main topic of a training routine. So some of the things that I do for another training routine after I do my um, solos, I go and I VOD review. Um, after I VOD review, um, I typically VOD review for about 15 to 20 minutes. It's not that long of a period. I just try to get some of the obvious things. Um, but then after I VOD review, I go into either regular solos or arena solos, depending on how I was doing before, because I'm not going to play arena solos and just continuously lose points. Um, but typically, um, I'll play like regular solos and... Um, I'll, I'll work on the things that I saw need to be fixed in my VOD. And after I fix that stuff, then I go back, I VOD review my, my solo games, and typically after that I'm done for the day. Um, I VOD review, and then I try to get done what I need to work on for the next day, and then the next day I'll go play solos and work on that stuff, and then I'll go VOD review those games. It's just an endless cycle until you can get yourself um, brought back into it, you know, until you can start learning your mistakes, you know, and trying to fix your mistakes. That way you're not constantly making errors. Um, but anyways, um, I think for my next videos, what I'll probably end up doing is probably just some tunneling tips, maybe some building tips, um, some late game tips. Maybe I might do some VOD reviews um, of my own VOD reviews so you guys can see what you're looking so you guys see what you're looking for um, and whatnot. But like I said, edit courses are your, or edit galleries will be your friends. If you're not good at editing, um, edit galleries will be your friend for that. Um, you just want to hardcore, just hammer the edit galleries um, until you are noticeably getting better. Um, you just want to make sure that you're getting better before you move on to something else. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I think that's going to be it for this video. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, the next video is going to be a Fortnite video. Um, I'll probably bring it out in the next couple of days or so, but this is a like 20 minute video. But anyways, I want to thank you all for watching and remember to like, comment, subscribe for more content. And hopefully I'll have a video idea next time that wasn't like abrupt. But again, thank you guys for watching and peace out.